Time now for sports on 104.7 The Cave. Here's Ned Reynolds. Mike, the intern, Ned Reynolds in the studio, halfway point of the week. So the night before yesterday, Cardinals just beat up on Milwaukee. Usually when a team gets beat that bad, the next day, it's definitely not the same story. What do you think about that game yesterday? Well, it's not the same story. Yep. <laughs> Brewers win by a score of 3-2. Not that the Cardinals didn't have any chances, but unlike previous games during the streak of wins that the Cardinals have had, the big hits did not come through. They had their chances in the ninth inning, had the runners on third and second, and that's the tying and winning run, but couldn't get them home, and it is what it is. That is baseball. It's the way it works in rhythms. Wade Miley pitched very well for the Brewers. Nolan Arnato. This guy has really caught fire after a very slow start. He was swinging early in the season back in April at bad pitches, in the dirt and all that, and striking out. Not now. He's had five straight games in which he's hit a home run. There was one last night as well, but the Brewers win the game by a score of 3-2. Play again tonight up at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. Give me a good day for some baseball. All right, uh, we got the NBA playoffs happening, which is funny to me because right at the same time they start getting ready for the draft, which is kind of crazy. Who won the lottery number? Well, the draft is next month. The draft is in June, but the lottery number, which gives the lower seeded team or the, like the nothing teams, a chance to get a superstar. And the San Antonio Spurs, coached by Greg Popovich got the lottery number. Undoubtedly, they will go for Victor Wembanyama. He is the 19-year-old 7'4 superstar. He's a kid, but just see him play. Now, he's a different player. He's tall and very thin. He's not physically mature yet, but the guy can do a lot of things. Of course, when you're 7'4, you can do a lot of things. But he <laughs> is very agile. He's, he's a different player from Jabbar, people like that. But and, and he's not a bull. And when he comes in the NBA next year, he will he'll have a challenge because the bigger guys that are under there are going to give him an awfully tough time. But over and above that, the guy can score from everywhere on the court. It's a big deal, and it'll be a very, very huge addition to the San Antonio Spurs. Yeah, you don't hear much about that team, <laughs> so I guess that makes it... Uh, Not in recent years. No, right? you haven't, but back in the day, I know in the NBA Jam era, they were a pretty good damn team at, at the time. All right. At um, the Admiral, David Robinson. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that very well. Uh, last but not least, um, in the playoffs, who got the wins? The Denver Nuggets. They get the first win, 132-126, to 126, and this is <laughs> this is a battle of... Total opposites in basketball. Denver is the top scoring team in the NBA. The Lakers are the top defensive team in the playoffs. Lakers almost got Denver down the stretch. Denver was on the verge of blowing Los Angeles right out of there and back to California. Had 20, 22, 23 point lead in the game and even had a 14 point lead in the final period. And Los Angeles came back, changed their defense a little bit, stymied the Nuggets, but the Nuggets had the one key and his name is Nikola Jokovic. And my goodness sake, he became, and still is for that matter, the third player in NBA history to have a triple-double. And that's scoring, rebounds, and assists. At 34 points, 21 rebounds, 14 assists. And he joins two other guys, a guy named Chamberlain and a guy named Jabbar. That's pretty doggone good company. This guy is really, really good. And the, the Nuggets are really good. But so are the Lakers. This is going to be a heck of a series. But Denver has a one game to none lead. So, prep baseball yesterday, we had some of the area's first round winners, didn't we? We did, and the competition continues today. It's been pushed back a day because of rain. Mike, one of the really big stories, and it's flying under the radar completely, is Springfield Greenwood. This is only their second year of varsity baseball. That is all. Their second year. And yesterday, they knocked off the two-time district champions from Norwood, beat them 9-6, to six, and they play today for a district championship. Two years, and they are they may get into state competition. They're a pretty good ball club. Indeed, they are uh, getting a 9-6 win over a very good Norwood team. But that's, that's among the big winners. You had others, including, of course, uh, the guys who usually win, the Republic Tigers. They're, they're nasha- or not nasha- state-ranked. Kickapoo gets a win. Nixa, a winner, 14-1 to one over Central. Ozark got a win yesterday. Camdenton defeated Hillcrest. Glendale, a winner over Marshfield. Willard in that winner's circle. Logan Rogersville in there. And Catholic 
is a winner over Mountain Grove, and those two, Logan Rogersville and Catholic, play each other today for the uh, district championship. Two really good baseball teams. This the high school baseball, Mike, in this part of the country, part of the state, I should say, is considered to be the best. Of course, the state championships are down here. They're at the new, <laughs> the new Sky Bacon Stadium. You familiar with it? Never heard of it before until this morning. It is the new name for U.S. Ballpark in Ozark. Sky Bacon? Sky Bacon. Sky Bacon is a fireworks company, and they bought the name rights to it. Wait a minute. There's a fireworks company named Sky Bacon? And what do you suppose their symbol is? Uh... Well, I, now I'm really confused because I would have thought they made bacon, but now it's a fireworks company. I don't know. Have Still no a flying pig. I was, <laughs> was going to say, I was going to say, it, I, w- I was actually going to guess that, but I didn't want to sound like a fool. Well, that's crazy. Uh, I, I might just have to go down to Sky Bacon Park and uh, check it out. I bet they got fireworks going off every night. Well, they have them quite often. <laughs> I would assume so. So, uh you know, we were talking a lot about the uh, NBA in the last break um, with the playoffs and the draft coming up. Uh, there are already some teams letting coaches go, too, aren't there? Yeah, and I'm a little bit surprised, and yet I'm not surprised. Doc Rivers, who's a longtime player and coach in the NBA, got fired by the Philadelphia 76ers yesterday three times. He's had what were perceived as being championship teams. I am not in agreement with that. I watched them play. They're not in the same category, in my opinion, with the like Lakers or the Boston Celtics, quite obviously, or the Denver Nuggets or people like that have a great player, the NBA most valuable player in Joel Embiid, and they have James Harden, who has seen his better days. But over and above all of that, they haven't really gotten over the hump and gotten into the championship round in three years. So Doc Rivers is out as a coach at the, of the 76ers, along with several others in the NBA. And, and now the search goes on for a new person. Um, we also talked about the uh, St. Louis Cardinals uh, not beating Milwaukee up yesterday and taking the L, but what about the Royals? they get a dub? They did. <laughs> How about this? The Royals had a 5 to nothing lead over the San Diego Padres. Almost let it get away. That almost doesn't count. They did not. 5-4, to four, the Royals beat the Padres. That's the Royals' 13th victory of the year against 31 losses. They're not a real good team. The Padres, a big disappointment. They're having trouble hitting the baseball. But it's still early, and lots of things can go on. And the Springfield Cardinals played against the Northwest Arkansas Naturals and fell 10-9 to in 10 innings. That's a tough way to go, but hey, it's all right. That's part of it. Uh, playing down in Springdale, Arkansas, and that series continues tonight. Exciting stuff, Ned. And uh, you have a wonderful halfway point in your week. I'll see you on Thursday.